Hi everyone, it's me, Darlene. I am going to sit at my machine for a little bit and end my night in a crummy way. <laughs> I have nothing specific to show you guys tonight, but I thought I would turn the camera on because sometimes as I'm sewing, I come up with something different. And even if I don't, we can just chat for a little bit. So this is like all the stuff that I made over the past two days. A lot of pieces. I was getting low on pieces. You'll notice these are the things that we made together last night. And I also have this bag filled with other pieces and, you know, things that have been put together. But they're a little bit older. Oh, this is something that is close to being finished. And then in this bag, I have uh, strips, all little scrappy strips from when I trim fabric. And then this is what's in my box. I have my 17 blocks that we finished. Then I have just big pieces of fabric in here that I can cut as needed. So I think I just want to work on putting some things together. I'm anxious to make enough blocks so that I can make the quilt top. I don't know yet how many blocks I'm going to need. And I am leaning toward no sashing. I just think I'm going to like the looks of that. But we don't know. We'll have to just wait and see. So I'm just trying to pull out, you know, other partially made blocks because that way it's a variety. You know, some of the fabrics I was using before can get mixed up with some of the new ones. So let's just start. Okay, here's another thing that I do. This is one of the strip sets that we made using the method that I showed you last night. I really love doing it that way. I'm going to use this as like the base of another strip set. And I'm just going to take other, you know, pieces and sew it here. And I'll do some chain piecing. I'm just going to send things through. So let me do this one. And I still have room, so I'm going to put something else here. I just try to find what fits. I wanted to mention that that is how I decide what fabric goes. I decide by what fits. I don't care about the color or the print. I like it to be as weird as possible. So this fits, so we're going with it. Okay, I'm just going to leave that there and let's send something else through. Let's do the same. Like, let's take another thing like this and we'll sew some things onto it. Let me trim this guy. And I have a little bit of room left. Ooh, ooh, look at this little piece of fabric can go right there. Well, this is going to just about fit. Let me see if I put it on this way. Yeah, we'll just send just that. You know, if you have a sewing machine that's not against a wall or something, you can always put like a card table or even a TV table or, you know, do they still call those TV trays? <laughs> but uh, a table or something to hold your fabric so it doesn't just hang over and pull because then it makes it harder to sew out. Sorry about that. Scissors fell. No injuries have been reported. <laughs> so, <laughs> you just don't like something to be like tugging on your fabric. I need the scissors if I want to trim stuff. I'm going to do this guy here too. Oh, that one's not going to fit. Let's just do this. We'll put this guy here. There's a lot of blue here, so I'm just going to cut this piece. Like that. And we'll put this part here. Little bit, little bit of room. Let's do this right here. You know, some days I feel like, you know, working on making things look tiny. Other days I feel like bigger. Ah, uh, I just love it when pieces fit. Let's trim that even. Let me turn my iron on. Now let's uh, do something here with an older fabric. What can we do here? Let's just put these two together like this. All right, let me press these guys. Start putting some of those together, maybe. So I just pressed those all open, and the things that were sewn on a strip, I'm just going to cut them apart. So we have this, we have this, and I would probably not ever leave these two things long, but for now, I leave it. I don't like to trim or alter things until I'm ready to use it. 
because I don't know. I mean, I'll trim like edges of things sometimes, but a lot of times I don't. I just snip this apart. I'm not going to worry about trimming this. I'm going to trim it when it's time to use it. This little guy is, you know, sewn separately, so we will cut those two apart. So we have this, and then we have this. And somebody asked me when I cut my blocks the other day, now this, you know, this is a strip. Now this makes a nice piece to build like we just did. Oh, somebody asked when they saw me trimming my six inch blocks if I save those scraps. And of course I do. They just go right back into the scrap pile. And that's why I don't mind making my block like bigger than six inches because then I can move the ruler around and decide not only what do I cut that's going to be part of the block, but I also look at what is going to be left over. And if it's like maybe just, uh, you know, half an inch or three quarters of an inch left over on the sides, I might move my ruler a little bit to make that leftover part bigger so that it won't be wasted. Or I'll go closer to the edge so I don't have to trim much of it at all. And then this one is going to look like this, but there's two here. There's this little guy, and then there's this big guy. Oh, and I know this sounds like a broken record, but I'm getting a lot of new people finding me because of this series. So just to let anyone know who's watching this for the first time, this Crumb Quilting Adventure is a series. I have a playlist link down below in the description box and in the pinned comment, and you can just click on that and go get caught up. I am planning on making a small quilt with these blocks, you have been with me from beginning to end, and we're just having fun. Okay, let's just put this together. Where's some more older, different fabrics? really like to mix things up. And when I say older, I just mean from you know, like three days ago. <laughs> oh, I have something I can show you that I forgot to show you. Okay, so I'm looking at this and I would think, well, maybe I can attach it here or I can square it up and attach it here. But you know, what if it's not quite wide enough? Well, look at there. There's a lot of stuff going on there. I could trim it, but I can also do this. I can go diagonal. I can. You can too. I give you permission. So let's do this. I'm going to do it like kind of up here just going to sew. And I also could do my trick of also sewing on this other side before I cut so that that piece doesn't get lost. I don't like orphans. So let's, um, let's do this first. I'm just going to lay this anywhere and I'm just going to follow the straight line of the top fabric. Okay, normally I would just trim this like if it was a bigger piece but since it's small I like to add something to it so we don't lose it let me find something I'll do this so I'm going to put this like you know kind of close I just have to have room to cut in between so I'm going to put these right sides together on this side now I'm going to open this and press where is the other one here press this one this way Press this one this way, then I'll come and cut and I'll show you. Hmm, did that wrong. How come I did that wrong? What was I supposed to do? Okay, we're going to learn together. I am taking it out. Oh, no, how come? I'm confused. Hang on a minute. Okay, I guess I had just put it too close to this because... That's not what I want to do. See, I need to like go like this and see how would this look. If I cut there, boy, that's really not going to give me a lot. I didn't plan that the right way. So let's forget about this. We'll do it on another one. For this one, I'm just going to trim next to that stitch line. Sorry about all that confusion, but that's how I learn. Now I'm going to go press this. What I was just trying to do was sewing on both sides, but there just wasn't enough fabric for me to do that. Okay, so now we end up with something like this. But then when this is squared up, I love when there's some things that go on the diagonal compared to the other lines. I mean, I really love that, like, a lot. <laughs> I'm a weirdo. So exciting. Don't you think? Now what are we going to do? Gee, I hate to trim that. See, I hate... Look, I mean, look, look at those little pieces there. 
I don't like to lose those. So what can I do? What can I do to not lose that? Oh dear. Oh, I know. I can trim at an angle this way and then I won't lose that. Just sacrifice a little of that other stuff. I'm going to add a piece here. Let me look for a strip. Ooh, let's just do a strip like this. I like these strips like anywhere from like three quarters of an inch to inch and a half. And again, I don't generally spend like a lot of time on one block. I kind of like just do something like this, move this one aside, work on something else. I like to build like, you know, five to ten blocks at once. It just keeps my brain happy. <laughs> I'm pretty tired. Do I want to do a couple more strips? Sure, let's do that. Because like I said, we can. I'm going to keep this angle going. And we can trim this right there. All right, so we have a pretty cool, like, little block started. I can't do six by six, but I'm going to leave this one alone for now and just put it in a bigger block pile. Let's go to this guy. I liked doing that diagonal thing that I just did. Let's try something like that with these two pieces. I don't know exactly what I'm doing, but let's try something different. I'm brave when you're near me. <laughs> How about I just go... Okay, this like this, and this like this. Am I going? Uh, am I going to? That won't be too much of a waste. Let's do that. Okay, we're at that moment in time again where I can do something to save this side. I'm just going to put this piece of fabric here, and I'm going to sew it on this edge. Just experiment with things. It's the way you figure things out. Okay, I think this is going to work now. When I open this and press it, we have something going on here. And then when I open this, we're going to have something going on there. So let me do all this ironing first. So we open this. I'm going to cut here. What we have with that leftover piece. And now this guy ended up on the diagonal. Very ink. <gasps> oh my goodness. I really like that. I'm going to do that more often. Okay, this is big enough. I'm going to put this in my big enough for now pile. <laughs> I'm going to leave it here for now because I have editing to do at this point and it is pretty late. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe so you don't miss this series and I'll be back with more soon. Bye!